Four weeks in, the defense rests in R. Kelly's federal trial here in Chicago. Our Tara Molina has been there the entire time and has the latest from the courtroom. The only defendant taking the stand in the R. Kelly trial back up. Daryl McDavid, Kelly's former business manager, is charged along with Kelly and a former staffer in the child pornography and obstruction of justice case. Questioned here by prosecutors in detail about his testimony. On the stand for three days now, Daryl McDavid questioned by federal prosecutors Friday. We've told you McDavid's defense depends on McDavid's claim he believed Kelly was innocent during the years of alleged cover-ups of underage sex abuse involving Kelly. McDavid and his representation detailing how he only ever acted through the request and instruction of the nationally acclaimed lawyers and investigators he hired to be Kelly's team. Acclaimed entertainment attorney Jerry Margolis, hired by McDavid to rep Kelly in 1994, private investigator Jack Palladino, and criminal defense attorney Ed Jensen. The prosecution pointing out to the jury McDavid is the only one alive who can testify, speaking to any incident or any details. Really honing in on specific events in the timeline of McDavid's testimony, like the meeting arranged with Jane and her parents to discuss the allegations about to go public back in December of 2001. Jane being the pivotal witness in the case who testified to a sexual relationship with Kelly starting when she was 14 years old. She identified herself in sex tapes with Kelly played in this trial. McDavid asked repeatedly if he was in the meeting where Jane said Kelly fell to his knees begging her parents for forgiveness. Repeatedly he denied it, saying he was in his car. Throughout the testimony and cross-examination, McDavid said he believed Kelly and Jane, who publicly denied all allegations at that time. Also testifying, despite what we've heard from others in this trial, he never saw the tapes played for the jury until they were played in court. You can find more on the testimony we've heard this week and this cross-examination in this story on our website right now, where you will find all of our coverage of this trial picking back up first thing Monday morning. Reporting in the federal courthouse, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Closing arguments expected to start on Monday and then the case will be handed over to the jury.